Drug use in America is an epidemic that can't be ignored, with a growing amount of people affected. We're trying to educate people that 300,000 Oklahomans report some kind of substance abuse disorder and is the leading cause of death for those that are under 50 years old in the United States per CDC information. That's forcing the discussion around drug use to change, along with the efforts of prevention. This has been uh, historically something that has been polarizing. You know, when you talk about harm reduction, when you talk about Narcan, like it, it, it has taken a long time to get it to where it is today. Cook founded the nonprofit Shred the Stigma less than a year ago. So far, more than 500 people have been saved from accidental overdose deaths because of the kits his team delivers across Oklahoma. People trying to suppress the opioid epidemic recently brought their fight to the Oklahoma State Capitol, where they spoke with lawmakers about the risks facing their constituents and what resources are out there to save them. This invention, this technique was life-saving. We had a gentleman, bad, he OD, and the paramedics told us what to do. We saw him come back to life from his body positioning, but this right here up his nose saved that man's life. Romani works with veterans, a group increasingly affected by substance abuse. But advocates know anyone can be impacted by an overdose. So many um, pills, so much um, substance right now is being cut with fentanyl and people are dying just with one use. The State Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services found a unique way to help getting fentanyl test strips and naloxone into more communities. These vending machines are going to help us get it out into places that um, uh, would increase the access points, especially in areas where there are already higher incidents of overdoses happening right now. The program isn't the first of its kind, but Oklahoma's program will be the largest in the U.S. They'll come over here and they'll make a selection. When they do, you just hit buy. And all you're going to be prompted for is typically your zip code. So it'll say, you know, where are you living? And that, that's the only data they want to capture, so there's no barrier. Technology in the machine will use zip codes to know where and when supplies need to be refilled. It's one more tool in a much bigger campaign the state is launching this year. I saw those commercials and I, I got tears in my eyes. It takes a very delicate hand to approach this, this particular topic in the right way, and I feel like they've really nailed that. The goal is to treat harm reduction items just like Band-Aids and gauze in a first aid kit, as the state hopes more people get these life-saving tools into their homes. Jameson Keefover for Fox 25 News.